Hey guys, today on Nev's Garage we're going to be replacing the fuel filter on this MY99 WRX. It's got the EJ205 engine. Now these fuel filters are pretty much universal with all EJ engines up to mid 2000s. So this is a very universal guide. It's got a very broad spectrum across a lot of Subaru models. So feel free to watch this guide and learn how to change your fuel filter. It's really simple and while we're there, we're also going to replace the fuel line. That's really simple as well. So let's get stuck into it. Now it's better if you do this job when there's no pressure in the rail. So first thing in the morning after it's been driven, as you can see there by our inline gauge, it's got zero PSI. So we've got no residual pressure in the rail. So there will be fuel in it, but it's not going to squirt at us everywhere when we pull it apart. Now if you don't have a gauge, you can trust it first thing in the morning after you've driven the car the day before will be okay. Um, if you want to put an inline gauge in, check out our other video. We'll explain in depth how to do that. Worth a watch. Anyway, uh, so we've got no residual pressure. We're okay to start. Alright, so first of all, we're just going to undo all our clamps on the fuel hoses. So, because we're going to replace the fuel hose as well, just going to undo the clamps between the fuel rail, which in this particular case is here, because we've got our inline adapter for the pressure gauge. Alright. all the way back to the car hard line, which is here. Like that. Nah, so that's our clamps off. Now fuel hose has a way of sort of adhering to the barbs, okay? So once we've got the clamps loose, what we're going to do is just cut a sneaky slice down the side, like this. I'm just going to put a rag underneath to help absorb some of the fuel that comes out. Like I said, there is fuel in the hose, but there's no pressure, so it's not going to spurt out at us. And we just do the same to the one down on the body end. Now we just undo the clamp that holds our filter in, lift it out. Right, so there she is, there's our old filter, out. Now we just keep this rubber collar. Just keep him handy. That's it. Alright, so in goes our new filter next. We'll just put the collar around it first. Slip it up there like that. And then we just put it in the right orientation.
like that. That's him. I suppose this can go back on later. Alrighty. So now we've just got to connect our hoses up now. Now before we put our hoses on, we have to obviously slide the clamps up the hose. Now you've got two options with the clamps. You can either reuse the factory clamps which are very good quality. They can be annoying with their non-captive nut. Or you can go and buy new worm drive clamps. Now, it's very important on fuel hoses that use EFI specific clamps. They have this extra long tang on the back that wrap around. I'll show you what I mean comparatively to a normal clamp. So here's our EFI clamp. And here it is side by side, a normal clamp of the same size. You'll see the little tang at the back there, it's just really, really short compared to this one that wraps around. So it's designed to wrap around past the slots that the worm uses to tighten the clamp. That's so that when you put torque on the clamp against the hose, the hose doesn't pull out through the slots. These are actually good to use on water hoses as well, but very important to use them on fuel hoses. So we're definitely not going to use this type. We're either going to use this type or the factory hose clamps. I'm going to use this type just because they're a little bit easier to put on and a little bit easier to remove next time and they're really cheap. So we need a set of four of those. Now it's time for the hose. Now it's also very important that you select the right hose. It needs to be fuel injection hose which is a high pressure capable hose. Okay, and It needs to be 5 16th inner diameter which is 7.9 mil or 8 mil, so we're using 8 millimeter fuel injection hose. Now, don't be afraid to put a little bit of Lennox on the barbs. It's 100% rubber safe and it's just going to help us slide the rubber hose up onto it. Like that. So now we're just going to cut the hoses to length, like that. And we're going to slide two clamps down, like that. Take our stock cap off the end. Because there's no barbs on this spigot, I'm actually not going to lube this one up. Just going to push it straight on, like that. Okay, Bob's your uncle. Now we're going to wait till we've got all the clamps on before we tighten them, just to make sure all our hoses are the correct length. Feed hose. Now, and then cut that bad boy to length. Again, two hose clamps. Remove the stop cap. Slide it under the spigot. Simple as that. Now we just need to position the clamps. Like that. 
Alright, so now we can go ahead and tighten up the clamps. So just put them in the center of the barb and apply the torque. Don't go overboard with it. That's all the clamps tighten. Now we can just put the return and the vent hose back on there. She's all hunky-dory. So basically that's it guys. That's our fuel filter fitted. So what we do now is we just jump in, turn the key and pressurize the rail, which is going to take a couple of primes of the pump, check for leaks, and then we can give the car a start. So our gauge is showing we have fuel rail pressure now. So let's just check for leaks. All good, not a drip. Let's crank it over. Cool, let's just have a final leak check now that it's been run. No, all good. So that's the job essentially finished, guys. Alright guys, well that's our new fuel filter fitted on our Subaru. Now, as I mentioned before, this guide is pretty much useful to all Subarus that are powered by the EJ engine up until mid-2005. If they've got that shape, fuel filter in the engine bay, it's got to be the same deal. Alright, it's a simple job. There's no excuse for not performing this maintenance. You should do it every 20 to 40,000 kilometres, depending on whether you're pumping from a good petrol station or not. Anyhow, as always, thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Please tune in next time on Nev's Garage. Hooroo!